I really wasn't going to talk about this latest speech by uh, Mr. Louis Farrakhan because for me, he's not interesting no more. A lot of time has passed and when people believe or become obsessed or fanatic about an ideology or a person or whatever it is in their life that gives them purpose or makes them feel good, there's nothing you can say. There's nothing you can do. It's much like a crack addict. A crack addict Crack makes some people feel good and give them purpose in their life. No matter what you say about crack, no matter what you do, they are going to do crack until crack puts them in the ground. These people will die believing in Louis Farrakhan, believing in the fictional Jesus, the fictional Moses, the fictional Abraham. They will believe in Donald Trump. They will believe in whatever, a piece of baloney, <laughs> whatever it is that makes them feel good. So I will talk to us because we understand. We're not trying, and I do not try to convert, or I do not try to convince somebody that they should leave or stop believing in whatever they believe. That's their business. That's their prerogative. A person can only, as even Minister Farrakhan say, a person can only move within the diameters of their own knowledge and understanding and what they comprehend. Just like a crack addict, just like a drug addict, just like an alcoholic, they live in their fantasy worlds that the crack, that the alcohol creates, and they are happy. I've been around many happy drunks, and they having a good time. And so this is the situation. But we have to talk and bring this to others who have not yet been uh, affected by such cancer. I wish there was somebody like me who was talking when I was a young person so that my time and my life would not have been wasted in these religious belief systems. So I've listened to a little bit. I, I Quite honestly, I, I can't listen to hours and hours. God going to do this and I'm so special and, and the divine. I can't listen to all that for hours. It's, I, it's just I can't do that anymore. So I listened to some of the bits and pieces from Brother Ben X's channel. And I heard the minister calmly and coolly. He talks about his adulterer, his extramarital affairs. Now, I do remember it wasn't that long ago. We talked about the rumors that Farrakhan had women outside of his marriage. Matter of fact, he did make reference to it a little bit. But now, I guess when you think that you're getting ready to die and you want to show how special you are, you need to bring this up so that you can impress your believers and followers. 
And he proudly talks about his other wives. Again, this is a case where he will show you no marriage certificate to his other wives. And if you notice, Sister Khadija Farrakhan, Sister Betsy Farrakhan, Sister Khadija, why don't she come up to the podium and talk about how she loved the fact that Farrakhan was out there messing around on her? See, <laughs> why don't his wife come to the podium and tell the people how wonderful it was to sit back and your husband have all these extramarital affairs while she is loyal to him. She's not sleeping around. Like Sister Clara Muhammad did not sleep around on the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. It's a mad thing. I'm Messiah. I'm special. Divine. No marriage license. Also within the last few years, we know that Farrakhan has no job. So since Farrakhan has no job and getting all these children, I heard he has at least 22 children to all together. Some of these children are biracial. They are half Mexicans, I heard, through the grapevine. Even so, Farrakhan has taken the donations from these poor people to take care of his women and his children, he sounds like a damn pimp. That's what it sounds like. Now, if he's playing music or making money on his own, that's your business. You take care of your children, blah, blah, blah. But when you're asking people to donate to a cause and you think that you're giving to build a hospital or uh, support a farm or do something for the black community you just giving money to your pimp and that's what all these preachers these religious folks they're not revolutionaries they're pimps how the hell can you make mockery of Joel Osteen or T.D. Jakes or uh, what's that Joyce Myers or any of these other persons and you don't put Farrakhan in the mix. He's doing the same thing. You taking care of his women and his children. Your money. Now, if you're giving your money so that you can take care of this man and his family, that's your business. Cool. Most people are donating because they believe that He's going to do something for the black community. What has he done in 40 years for this black community? This man, I even heard him say, my followers take good care of me. Well, if the followers are taking good care of you, sir, what have you done for them except run your mouth? talking all this prophetic stuff which don't come true Ronald Wilson Reagan the Antichrist in the 80s the last American president he wasn't now we're looking at no personality Joe Biden your mother plane has not shown up yet all this stuff all your prophecies and warn the president and none of these American presidents from Reagan till now don't listen and don't give a damn about anything you say what has he done for you this man is supposed to have or the rumor is at least 22 children even some of his grown people you take care of this man. Does he pay the mortgage of his believers? Has he produced a hospital or a clinic or uh, low-income housing or pay electric bill, child support, 
millions and millions of dollars over for over 40 years. You, sir, should be shame of yourself. I couldn't. And see, some of you don't know that those houses and things that he live in, that's high maintenance. Some of you have never been to this man's house and you paying for it. And chances are you won't even get let in the door if you was homeless. You're not going to come live with me. Mm -mm -mm. So, wow, it's, it's, it's a, but we talked, we, we talked about this and they said, and was in denial, oh, Farrakhan is only married to Sister Betsy, Sister Khadija Farrakhan. The rumor was out years ago. And now he's just made it plain. But it makes no difference. These people can do anything they want, even murder. And these folks will still believe. There's this guy, what's his name? Malachi York. He pled guilty to child molestation. And there are people who still want to follow Malachi York and believe in. Malachi York. You have young Pharaoh who is on this road to self-destruction and looking crazy and they still want to follow him and there are those who still support Brother Polite and as raggedy and nasty as Sarnetta is, they still support. We love criminals. We love those. But then Elijah Muhammad gave us the reason why do you love or why do the so-called nigger why do you love the white man because he gives you nothing because he gives you nothing and that's why we love Farrakhan and Farrakhan said you thought this was going to be the swan song that I was getting ready to leave. I ain't going nowhere. But at the same time, he says, and he's so grandiose, I don't want you to see me sick. I want you to remember me the way I was. You look sick now. You look tired and woe out now. But this man is so grandiose. He's so full of himself that He's barely making it, but he got to have the limelight. He can't sit back in the cut. And God, Ishmael Muhammad and Nuri and Brother Ben, he, he got to take the limelight. He got to be in the spotlight. He got to die before anybody can step in the light. This is not leadership. Then after he died, Brother Ben and Nuri and all these people, well, Farrakhan would have did this. Farrakhan would have said that. Well, if he gave you, gave the, 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 the people a chance to, 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 to lead themselves and just sit back in the cut and watch, then he can help guide you. But no, he's just like his teacher, a womanizer. A whoremonger, praise seeker, and that's why we continue to fail. Ego, greed, booty seekers. Oh my, oh oh my lord! Jot down your comments. Talk about it if you want. I catch you on the next thizzy. It's really this is really really sad. It should be a swan song.